political epicenter of the Ebola alert is Summit County. That's where Amber Vincent stayed while she was visiting Northeast Ohio, and that's thrown one local town into the spotlight. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin spent the evening with the mayor of Talmadge, and Michael, he's got a lot on his plate right now, calming fears and also dealing with the media. He certainly is dealing with a lot of things, including us in the media, which is why, if you look behind me, you still have police outside of Amber Vincent's stepfather's home. Uh, basically, the police said that they are here to make sure that us in the media don't go over there and also spectators don't go over there and bother him as he's doing his own self quarantine. Now, as you mentioned, I did spend some time with the mayor today, and basically, he says he's been out, if you will, campaigning, letting everybody know that everything's going to be a OK here in Talmadge. Talmadge is a city just over 17,000, but now this small town has been thrust into the spotlight. Who ever, who ever thought, who ever thought yeah. that? It's a small town mayor dealing with big city issues stemming from the Ebola patient Amber Vincent's visit here last weekend. How big? This morning, its mayor was on the front page of the New York Times online website. Mayor Klein uh, from the city of Talmadge just came out here about 10 minutes ago, gave us an update. Uh, he's over there talking with some media. It's a new thing for the city. New, but the mayor says the fundamentals are the same. Getting out information and letting people know that Talmadge is safe and dispel any misconceptions about Vincent's visit to the area. We did receive some phone calls saying that they want to stay away from Talmadge uh, until... Uh, they figure out all this uh, Ebola stuff that's going on. And the mayor visited several restaurants asking for himself if Vincent had been inside, mainly because of this. She's down in Texas. Well, actually, she's in Atlanta now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. He wanted people to know that Vincent had not been to any of the town establishments. The mayor of the city and the chief official of the city, I want to make sure the restaurants are doing fine and the people feel comfortable. Brad and Susie Genevieve owned the Firehouse Grill and they got several calls claiming Vincent had been in their banquet hall. The thought was she flew back to plan a wedding and we have a banquet center that does weddings so people wanted to know was she in our building planning our wedding and no she was never in our building. All right, again, you look at Amber Vincent's stepfather's home. The mayor said he did speak with him today, and the mayor said he is definitely in good spirits. I did ask the mayor how long would the police be out here, and he said for as long as they are needed. We are live in Talmadge. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.